Hi everyone and welcome to another Vlogmas video. In this video, I am working on some ornaments for my Christmas wreath. So I took a lot of inspiration from what I saw at the garden center. Um, and at first I thought I wanted to crochet a lot of mushrooms, but in the end I decided to, at least for now, keep it simple and crochet some some gift wrap pa packages. So I am crocheting some boxes um, in typical Christmas red. And I am crocheting 10 rows of double, uh, no, single crochet, double crochet if you're from the UK. And then the next row I'm only crocheting in the front loop because if you leave one of the loops unworked, it kind of creates this natural folding line. So when I've done four sides, you can make the outside of a box, and then I'll use the cast on, well, cast on the, like one of the ends to sew it together. Crochet is always a little bit wonky, um, you know, if you just have a fabric of single crochet, it tends to twist and turn, and, and I hope that once we actually fix it into shape, that it'll be fine. Otherwise, I'll, I guess I'll steam block it. I'm planning to release a little pattern for this box here. It might even be in the next Flockmas episode. But just if you want to get started already, for the sides of the box, I cast on um, so that I can... I cast on 10 chains so that I can do 9 uh, single crochets. So it's nine single crochets wide, and then each panel is ten rows high. And then, you know, for the for the first outline, no, that's not right. Um, <laughs> for the first four sides, um, so you you crochet ten rows of each nine uh, single crochet, and then uh, to continue on to the next panel, the next row that you do is in the front loop only, and then you continue. And so when you've done your forty rows in total, that will mean you have four sides of ten rows each, and then you can continue on to the side panels or like the no the top and bottom, and they are. Um, 10 stitches wide, um, so 10 single crochets, but also 10 uh, rows high. And then when you've made both of those, so uh, four of the sides, and then the top and the bottom, and then you sew all of the seams together um, but one so you leave one little gap um, there it is through that little gap I'm going to insert some stuffing I initially put in too much but I, after taking some out it was perfect then sew that up and I kind of hide the last end in the seams and then I just cut it off and to really finish it off I'm going to add some glitter um, I'm adding uh, this escapees Lizzie thread as a kind of ribbon um, because without it this little red box just doesn't look 
like a gift. So here I'm wrapping the ribbon around and that instantly gives it this Christmas tree gift package feel. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using a crochet hook to kind of um, anchor the threads into place. So I'm going in into the actual fabric and then pulling the ribbon through. And because it's going through the fabric there, it will be anchored into place because otherwise you wouldn't just be able to take the ribbon right off. It's kind of tricky, but it's worth it. And now it looks kind of wonky, but once you tie it, like I'm doing here, you can see that it's wonky. And then all that's left is to tie the ribbon and, or tie the bow, I mean. And now I'm going to make several more. I am kind of doubting whether this one is a little bit too big. So instead of nine uh, single crochets in the width, I might do something smaller. But I will see. I think it's very, very cute. And I can't wait to make more. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.